In this video, we'll be going over the study scanner. The study scanner enables you to search for study conditions that include one or more studies. As mentioned in the scanner overview video, if your edition of Motive Wave includes scanner functionality, then you will see the scan page. And to bring up the scanner, we can simply click on the scan page. And from here, we can create our new scanner. Now, to create a new scanner, we can either select New Scan from the drop down, or we can select the New Scanner icon found in the upper right hand corner of the panel. Now I'm just going to close one of these panels here to make it easier to follow along. Let's click on new scan. From here I'm going to name my scanner. I'm going to call it trade setup. From the type I'm going to select study. Click on next. From here I can select an individual symbol via the drop down box or I can search for it. Or I can import from a CSV or I can select from one of my watch lists. I'm going to select NASDAQ. Now, if I have more than one watch list listed here, then Motivate will start with the top watch list and work its way down. You can, of course, rearrange the order by clicking the up and down arrows if you have more than one item listed here. So let's click Next. From here, I can add bar sizes. I'm going to add three bar sizes. I'm going to start with five minute. Uh, I will add the 15 and I will add the hourly. Again, MotiveWave will start with the top one listed first and if I want to rearrange them, I can do that as well. So I'll put that back in that order. We have extended data and if this is selected, then data outside of regular trading hours will be included. Let's click Next. From here, I can select a specific study now I can filter the list by starting to type letters. So for instance, if I want RSI, I would click RSI and anything with RSI in its name will be listed. You can also filter here by type. We have overlay and we also have studies that include signals. I'm going to leave this to all. RSI, so I'm going to select it from the list. Click OK. From here I can set the parameters. For instance, if I want to change this to 5, I can select 5 here, click Add. Now in this example, I'm going to have only the one study, but we'll have another example where we have more than one. The minimum bars here is going to be 250, so let's select Next. In the Study Condition dialog, you can define a condition based on a variable that is generated from one of the studies you defined. In this case, we only had the one study, the RSI. And the variable may be compared against a specific value or compared against another variable. So let's go over these fields. The first field we have is study. From here we can choose a study that we configured on the Choose Studies page. We're only going to have one in this instance. Here we have bar index. And in most cases a comparison is done with the current bar, but you may choose historical bars by choosing a specific index. So you would unselect that. For instance, if you wanted the previous bar, you'd leave it at number one. We're going to use the current bar. Here we have the variable field, and this field will be populated when you choose a study. Now each study will export one or more variables, and those variables will be listed here. In the case of RSI, we only have one variable. In this field here, we have operators listed, and this is a comparison operator for comparing the variable to the value. Here we have some options, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, equals, crosses, cross above or cross below. In this case, we're going to select greater than. Now, relative comparison indicates that the variable should be compared against a specific value or against another variable. So in this case, we want a specific value, so we do not select relative comparison. In our next example, I'll show you how we use relative comparison. But what happens is when you select it, you then have the option of comparing it to the value of a different study. Again, we only have the one study here, so I'm going to deselect this and put a value here, for example, of 70. Click Add. At the top here, we have the evaluation method. When all is selected, all the conditions defined on the page must be met in order for it to be considered a match. Now, this is the default. We also have one or more. 
In this method, only one of the conditions defined on this page must be met for it to be considered a match for the scan. And then here we have look back bars, and this would specify the number of bars to look back and evaluate the study criteria. If you leave it at zero, then that indicates the most current bar. So let's click finish. And now if we click start to initiate the scan, Here is our list of results. We only have one result in this case with eBay. And you'll see here that the RSI is above 70 is indicated. Now let's take a look at our second example where we use more than one study. We can edit our current scanner by clicking the Edit Scan icon. Let's go over to Studies. Let's remove the RSI. And let's add two simple moving averages. Now this one, I'm going to make it a faster moving average. And let's change the color to perhaps a green. Let's add a second moving average. And I will change the color to this one blue. And we'll make this 10. Click Add. Now let's go over to the criteria. Here, let's remove the RSI. Let's click Add. So here we have the faster moving average. And we have its SMA value. We like to compare it to when it's greater than. So here we can click the relative comparison. And here's where we get the second studies variable available to us. So in this case, it's a slower moving average. So when the SMA of the faster moving average is greater than the SMA value of the slower moving average, that is the condition that we would like. So we click Add. Now we click Apply. We click OK. And let's start the scanner. As you can see, this time the scanner returned multiple results. And we can display the results by clicking any of the entries in the table here. And now you'll notice our moving averages, one being colored green, the fast moving average. And we have the blue, the slower moving average. So if we click on Costco, you can see the results here. You can zoom in. Let's try deck. You can see the results here as well, where the faster moving average is greater than the slower moving average. Now you can save these displayed results as analysis please refer to the first video, the scanner overview, for details. Well, that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.